Hey, shop at Teespring for all your goods, merchandise. We got what you need. You need shirts? No problem. You need mugs? No problem. You ain't got no money? Problem. <laughs> get the red suit, get the monkey, raise some money, buy a shirt. What the f was that? WTF. So we're all getting back out there even with the global pandemic we're trying to get back out and socialize with one another and a lot of rules have been regulated to us in order for us to do so but when it comes to restaurants we have to still be able to eat within a confined area yet still maintain the social distancing so a couple of restaurants have had some great ideas to help ensure that so one restaurant called the greenville county restaurant has actually came up with the great way of help maintaining distance between the tables when you come inside their restaurant they'll seat you at a table right adjacent to a table full of blow-up dials <laughs> now not only just blow-up dials these blow-up dials are dressed fully and have wigs on to kind of help up keep up the appearance of regular people kind of give you an atmosphere of a full restaurant as opposed to walking into like you're here and they're there and the restaurant kind of seems like a ghost town but you walk in you sit down and there are some blow-up dials right next to you maintaining the social distancing so you're here six feet another table and then another table it's a great idea they even like i said with the wigs and the clothing had those donated by friends and family to kind of help sell the appearance it's a great idea they said they spent about 140 dollars on amazon on these blow up dials i kind of want to know what these things look like in person outside of the video and the pictures that i'll put on here but they're not the only restaurant there do that's doing this there's actually a restaurant in virginia called the inn at the little washington that has gone a step further and placed mannequins at these extra tables. Now these mannequins are once again dressed up and will sit there next to you in the adjacent table while you're eating dinner, but they'll be posed in different ways so it'll appear that they're regular people so far that they're uh, gone to such a far extent that their customers have actually kind of given them feedback on the mannequins, talking about how pretty they are and how nice it makes the restaurant look. Uh, it, it is an interesting concept to know that even when you're in a social setting, there are fake people still next to you. <laughs> now, this is not only just happening in the United States, it's also happening overseas. There's a place in Bangkok, a restaurant in Bangkok, that's actually using panda bears to the same effect. Uh, there's also another restaurant that's actually using shower curtains in between the tables, which the picture looks really weird when you see it, but it does what it's intended to. So that way you have a wall in between kind of like a sneeze guard in between each one of the tables. I'm more curious to see how you guys would feel if you walked into a restaurant and there was a table full of blow up dolls kind of like <laughs> sitting next to you. Could you still have a full meal? Could you still have a regular conversation? I want you guys to put it in the comments below. But that's all I got for this week's WTF. If this is the first time that you're on the channel, I always ask, why'd you start with WTF? We have way better videos that we do on this channel, better content, more important stories, probably things that aren't as ridiculous. Make sure you subscribe as well as click the notification bell so that way you're aware of all those videos that come out. And if you just like this series, hey, you know, I love it too, that's why I do it. <laughs> that's all I got this week. Make sure you guys check in with us next week where I'll have another ridiculous story. You guys take care. All right, guys, I've been saying this. I hope you guys are tired and I hope you've already contributed money, but we do have a Patreon. So below you'll see the link. Uh, if you guys go to patreon.com forward slash the goods, please go ahead and uh, I mean, if you guys do like the show, please donate something. We do have giveaways for donations that we do receive. Make sure you donate something and we get something sent out to you and make the show better. Question for you. Where does the money go? What does the money do? My pocket.